close when robert takes over what happens and what to do when robert takes over you do not take any vows that i will not be angry again they will be self defeating and will not lead you anywhere rather on the contrary whatsoever you are doing it do it consciously take charge from the robot with any ordinary thing when eating eat eat consciously do not do it mechanically as you have done every day when smoking smoke consciously do not allow your hand to move to the pocket unconsciously do not bring the cigarette out unconsciously be conscious alert and there is a difference you can raise your hand mechanically just without any awareness or you can raise your hand with full awareness following in your hand try it you will feel the difference when you are aware your hand will raise very slowly very silently and you will feel that the hand is filled with awareness this is the only criteria and when the hand is filled with awareness your mind will be thoughtless because your whole awareness will have moved in the hand in the process of raising the hand and now no energy is left to think when you raise your hand automatically mechanically you go on thinking and your hand goes on moving on its own who is moving that hand your robot move it yourself do it in the day at any time any moment while doing anything take charge from the robot soon you will be able to have a mastery over the robot but do not try it with difficult situations that will be suicidal you have to begin with simple examples we always try with difficult situations but because of the difficulty you never win therefore start with simple situations where even if you are not so efficient no harm is going to result we always try with difficult situations for example one man thinks i am not going to be angry anger is very difficult situation and the robot will not leave it to you and it is better that the robot should do it because he knows more than you you decide about sex not to do anything or to do something but you cannot follow it through the robot will take over the situation is very complex and more efficient handling is needed then you can give it then you can give it right now unless you become so perfectly aware that you can tackle any complex situations without the help of the robot the robot will not allow you to do it and this is a very necessary defense mechanism if it were otherwise you would make a great mess of your life if you were to go on talking things if you have to go on taking things away from the robot in difficult situations try it start with simple things such as walking try with this 
there is no harm. You can say to the robot that there is not going to be any harm. I am just walking, taking a walk, and I am not going anywhere, just walking. So there is no need for you. I can be non-efficient. And then be aware and walk slowly. When robot takes over, you walk fast. Be filled with awareness throughout your whole body. When one foot moves, move with it. When one foot leaves the ground, you too leave the ground with it. When the other foot touches the ground, touch the ground with it. Be perfectly aware. Do not do anything else with the mind. Just turn the whole mind into awareness. These are the simple things not to listen and like. Instead, these are to be practiced if you want the process of transformation to begin or get an impetus in you. It will be difficult because the robot will interfere continuously. Every moment, robot will try and say, what are you doing? I can do it better than you. And he can do it better, certainly. So try it with non-serious things, non-complex things, simple, very simple thing. Buddha has told his disciples to walk eat and sleep with awareness. If you can do these simple things, then you will also know how to enter into difficult things with awareness. Then you can try in difficult situations. But we always try with difficult things, then we are defeated. Then the defeated feeling gives you a deep pessimism about yourself. You start thinking that you cannot do anything. That is very helpful for the robot. The robot will always help you to do something when you are in difficulty because then you are defeated. Then the robot can say to you, leave it to me. I can always do it better than you can do it. Start with simple things. Zen, Zen Buddhists, Zen monks have been so many times reported to have been doing this. When, when Basu, the Zen monk, was asked, what is your meditation? What is your spiritual practice? He said, when I feel hungry, I eat. And when I feel sleepy, I go to sleep. That is all. The man who was asking said, but this we all do. What is so special about it? Basu is reported to have repeated it again and said, when I am hungry, I eat. When I feel sleepy, I sleep. And that is the difference. When you feel hungry, your robot eats. When you feel sleepy, your robot sleeps. Basu said, I, and that is the difference. If you become more aware in your day-to-day -day work, in ordinary life, the awareness will grow and that awareness you will not be and with that awareness you will not be just mechanical. For the first time you will become a person. Now you are not one. A person has a face and a mechanical thing has many masks, no face. If you are a person who is alive, alert and aware, you can have an authentic 
existence. If you are just a mechanical device, you cannot have any authentic existence. Each moment will change you. Each situation will change you as well. You will be just a floating thing with no inner core, with no inner being. Awareness gives you inner presence. Without it, you feel you are, but you are not. Someone when asked Buddha, I want to serve humanity, tell me now, tell me how I can serve. Buddha looked at the man very deeply, penetratingly, with deep compassion, and then he said, But where are you? Who will serve humanity? You are not as yet. First be, and then, and when you are, you need not ask me. When you are, you will do something which just happens to you, which is worth doing. You do not need permission from anyone. It comes from within because you have explored your innerness. Gurdjieff noted that everyone comes with a notion that he is, that he already is. Someone came to Gurdjieff and asked, I am very insane inside. My mind goes in conflicts and so often in contradictions. So tell me what can I do to resolve this mind, to have the mental peace, inner calm. Gurdjieff said, do not think about the mind. You cannot do anything about it. The first thing is to be present. First you have to be, only then you can do something as such as you are, you are not. What is meant by this, you are not? It means that you are a robot. Robot is doing everything in you. Robot is the mechanical thing. We do everything in a mechanical manner working according to mechanical laws, start being alert, join awareness with anything that you are doing and start with simple things, then it will happen. One day you can take charge of yourself and then you are. Then you don't need to ask me such questions. Enough for now.